Greetings fellow programmers, my name is Pavel and I am here with another C-sharp exercise. This one is for uh, complete beginners. It's gonna be a very small program with just a few lines of code. Very simple console application. Now the project uh, or the requirements for the projects are as follows. We are to design an application that converts miles to feet. We will declare and initialize miles to 4.5 and we will show miles formatted with two positions to the right of the decimal. So in other words, 4.50. Feet and inches should both be shown with no positions to the right of the decimal. So they will be basically just integers, whole numbers. Once you get that portion running, modify your solution so that you also show the total number of inches. In other words, miles to inches. So we will go back to our code and initialize miles and we will rerun the application. So I'm going to do it slightly differently. I'm going to simply do the output both for both miles to feet and miles to inches all in one screen rather than going back and forth to uh, rerun the program. All right, so the assignment is given. So let's start coding. So the first thing we need we need the miles to initialize to 4.5. Uh, since we are given the value directly and technically we are not to change it, uh, we can use a constant, but normally you wouldn't because it would be something, you know, you don't, you don't just want to know 4.5, you, you want to change it at, at times too. So uh, I'm just going to do a regular float and it's going to be called miles and it will equal to 4.5 and it's a float so we need to the f symbol at the end to make to make sure that c sharp understands that we want to keep the the decimal places now the next thing we need to we don't have to but it's good to have the variable for it the ratio for the miles to feet which is 5280 so that can be a constant that will never change. One mile equals 5,280 feet, no matter what. So we can do a constant. It's gonna be an integer and we'll call it miles ratio ratio and it will equal to 5,280. And it's just an integer, so no decimal places. And we do the same for the inches. Again, it can be a constant because uh, one mile equals 63,360 inches. So this one will be uh, inches ratio. And it will equal the 63360. All right, and we can just do the output directly. We can do our console dot right line. And in it, we uh, we can say something like 4.5 miles equals the, how many feet. But they want us to keep the uh, miles formatted to or with two positions to the right of the decimal. So we need to add uh, the f and two f for float and two for uh, the uh, two decimal places. So our first placeholder in the string will be, it's going to be zero, it starts with zero, and it's going to be a float with two decimal places. Basically, this will say 4.5 miles. It would be something like this, 4.50 miles. We could hard code it, but it's better not to, in case you, know, you want to change this to five later or something, you would have to come back here and change that as well. So it's better to have it as a placeholder in the string. And we'll simply say 4.5 miles equals, and now the result of the calculation, which will be the placeholder number one. So placeholder number zero will hold the word or the string for 4.50 miles equals and how many feet. And so the first argument or placeholder is the miles and the second is the calculation which is the miles multiplied by 
the miles ratio. In other words, 4.5 multiplied by 5,280. So it's going to be miles uh, multiplied by miles ratio. And we'll do the same. In fact, I'm going to just copy paste it. We'll do the same for the inches. So this will be still miles. It will say the same 4.50 mile equals how many inches. So this will be miles and this will be miles multiplied by the uh, inches ratio. And that's actually the whole program. So let me run it. Control F5, it will build it and run it. And here's my results. So we have it formatted with two decimal places like they want us. So 4.50 miles equals 23,760 feet. And it equals the 285,120 inches. Now we can, uh, we can check that with Google and uh, see if that this calculation is actually correct. So we have our miles over here. So that's gonna be 4.5 and it equals 23,760 feet, so that's correct. And how many will convert it to inches? 285,120, so that is correct. So we have the same results as Google, so pat yourself on back because you just got the same results as Google, so go write your resume, apply for a job there, I guess, because their programmers came up with the same results we did. There you go. All right, so this is working fine. And uh, yeah, this is the whole program, very simple. So again, we have our miles that is set to 4.5 and it's a float. You could do a double, but doesn't matter. It's a decimal. So um, we have a constant for the miles ratio and for the inches ratio, which I Googled how many miles, how many feet are in a, in a mile and how many inches are in a mile. And this is the result. This is the numbers. And then we will do our console that right, right line. And in it, we have the placeholder for a flow that says 4.50 because we formatted it with F2, uh, which means float and two decimal places miles equals and our second placeholder or in this case it's first because we start with the zero so zero and one is the actual calculation we could do the results separately we could come over here and do something like uh, uh, float actually this one won't be a float eh, maybe or a double a result equals and we would do the miles multiplied by miles ratio. And then we would come over here and we would simply put the result here. Uh, but in this case, it really wasn't necessary. We could do the calculations directly in uh, within the right line. And we do the same thing for the, uh, for the inches, except we uh, multiplied it with the inches ratio. So this is the short program, very simple. Like I said, this was for the beginners. Uh, and um, I will see you in the next video. Take care.